Yo, Joe Burgers. Looks like Christmas came a little early at G.I. Joe Burg HQ because today on Facebook Marketplace, I found the Motherload. It was a bunch of pictures displaying G.I. Joes on pieces of A4 paper numbered, but the seller was interested in selling them as a lot. And as I scrolled through these pictures, my jaw proceeded to drop. I asked the seller what she wanted. She said, $260. And I got in my car immediately. She was about 25 minutes away. Uh, and this perhaps was the score of the year, if not the last five years, for me at least. Let's find out what we scored together. To put it in perspective, 260 Australian dollars is about 170 US dollars. Work that out to whatever it is in your currency, and you're about to see exactly how sweet this score was. I was told there were at least two other people en route when I scooped it up. So I am over the moon. But as I say, let's find out what we got here. As I said, A4 pieces of paper numbered. I thought maybe that meant she was wanting to sell them individually. But no, she insisted she wanted to get rid of them as a lot. She had had them cluttering up her apartment for uh, far too long now, since her son is now completely emigrated to New Zealand. We've got 87 Battle Armor Cobra Commander, Muskrat, Techno Viper, Astro Viper, Motor Viper with Muskrat's machete. We've got uh, <laughs> Mainframe, an old friend of mine. Now, these guys are held down by a bit of sellotape. Hopefully, when I free them, it won't lift the paint. Let's move over to the next layer down. Ooh, vehicle driver. We've got worms. We've got sneak peek. I've never owned a fast draw. This will be my first. Hydro Viper, great army builder. Blizzard, terrific Arctic troop. And probably the best army builder of the lot, though, minus a crotch. Not a problem, really. He's a robot. He doesn't need it. And then, next one, oh, bits and pieces, but still fantastic figures. Psychart, Dr. Mindbender, Iron Grenadiers. Ah, oh, the gold's looking very nice. A mail away Cobra Commander, fantastic. Look at that gold. Also, lovely condition, just needs an O-ring. Oh dear, and a crotch. Ah, oh, well, he can be a pod stoner, that's all right. Beachhead, also minus a crotch but not bad condition otherwise. And wetsuit, he's got his crotch, fantastic. They didn't just come as loose figures, they came with some accessories too. Some of them are complete, some of them need a little bit of love and a little bit of completion, but we have two Beachhead magazine pouches. Both of them black, so they're not accessory pack versions. And both of them fortunately are not broken. However, sneak peeks, Binoculars are broken, that's fine. Little dabber glue will sort them out. The bat has all of his attachments. Yes! Got some miscellaneous, erroneous accessories over there. The hand grenade, sneak peeks, walkie talkie. All the hoses, there's quite a few, so I imagine that's pretty much all the hoses I'd need. Um, one of Psychart's sonic devices. Next one down, we've got other weird, like, these clearly came from, like, an army set, like a plastic army man set. These look like cannon pieces and other clunky guns. But we've got the Manta gun, another clunky gun, Beachhead's gun, that is the Iron Grenadiers, clunk, clunk, Cobra Commander, so he's looking close to completion, other Cobra Commander. Blizzard's got his two guns, Techno Viper's got his whatever that is, welding device. Mindbender's got his prod, so he's almost complete. And then finally, the backpacks. Yes, Astro Viper. Terrific, that's a complete Astro Viper there, because he's got his helmet too. Fast Draw has his missile launcher and two missiles, but no faceplate or hose or those trigger mechanisms. That's okay. Wetsuit's looking good too. Yeah, just minus the oxygen mask. And Cobra Commander has his backpack, meaning he's just missing his hose. What is interesting about 
mainframe's backpack, sure, the antenna's broken off, but the hose attachment peg is still present. That's often the one that's broken off, I find. People often use this side piece to attach. And there's the Manta box. But it wasn't just figures and accessories, guys. They were vehicles too. <laughs> An old friend of mine, the Cobra Wolf. Fantastic. Need some TLC. That's a broken pen. And that's a broken pen. But they hold in place reasonably well. Because uh, that tab's missing. But this one is still present. The ski pedos both are intact and present and accounted for. These four missiles are there. And what is cool about vehicles is it's conceivable, given the age of this collection, that if I open these bad boys up, I might find small accessories like hoses, like the Ice Viper size. That's always a treasure hunt waiting to be done. What else we got? We got the maggot. And it looks like the cannon Oh, miracle abound, it still holds its position. That's pretty unusual, I find. Once again, all these recesses possibly hold some treasure. If we take a closer look, everything needs a good clean, of course. Now, the usual maggot malady, the radar dish snapped off, but when I was driving home, I heard something rattling. And that is it. Lo and behold, it is present, just needs a dab of glue, and we're back in business. Whoops, if I don't lose it. There we go. You can stay there for safekeeping. There's nothing under there. The last time I opened up a maggot um, engine cover, I found a Snake Eyes Uzi. So that was a neat little Easter egg. We've got, ah, uh, you can never get too many of these. And what's lovely about this one is it's got a kind of a different plastic texture the, on the red parts and color to what I'm used to. I think this might be like a, a later release, a Euro release. It's slightly less, I don't know, waxy. And this bad boy, let's see, is he broken on the other side? Nope, those mushroom clips are still in place. And what really tripped me out when I was going through the stuff uh, with the seller was underneath a whole bunch of things there's an unbroken flag hey isn't that wonderful uh, it needs a little bit of a heating and a bending because the bend is kind of going the wrong way if you ask me you know, i like the flags to kind of not be in that orientation but rather that orientation but anyways, that's uh, neither here nor there. What's so nice is it was a little bit bent in the box, but no stress mark, which is impressive. Um, once again, I, I think this is a second run of stuns. Um, the plastic seems a little bit more forgiving than I, I know these to be, typically. Uh, paperwork for the maggot. Lovely, never had that before. Paperwork for the wolf. And these are the American style on the kind of matte paper, not the glossy one. And the buzz ball. Yes, there is a buzz ball down here. Two missiles and the badge. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> are present. The gun is the only thing that's missing. That's an easy, easy fix. And hey, extras. The Hydro Viper is pretty close to complete. He just needs. Um, a spear gun. Boom. And she threw in this box for free. <laughs> Isn't that nice? But wait, there's more. Mystery packet. What could be inside? Oh. So, Motu. We've got Buzz Off. Minus the wings, of course, but... I mean, he's still in... Fairly decent lick, Nick. His, his legs are not loose. Nice. Webster. No armor, no accessories, but the figure's not in bad shape. Paint's good. Squash, squash. Oh, it's kind of hard. Okay. I don't know a thing about Mo2, guys. Um, generic garbage. No doubt this explains the clunky, um, nasty accessories. Yuck. <laughs> um... 
Gender fit keychain. Michelangelo. Yeah, man. Sweet. His strap is in good shape. If that is indeed an original, I wouldn't know how to tell you. Feels original. And oh, it's a hard head. Um, this can go to my son for sure. What am I saying? One day I'll be dead and all of this will go to my son. Um, another toy for Elliot. Street Sharks. Who remembers Street Sharks? This guy's really rubbery. I wonder what his deal is. Let me know in the comments if any of these are actually of any real value. Because I'm thinking this is just fun tat to give to my two-year-old. Another Toidle. And a Superman. Ah, oh, it's the Brandon Roth version. Nice. Brand Singer is my best friend. Uh, this is the last of the miscellany. It's good old Karate Kid. And soft goods are stained, but not torn. Well, a little bit frayed. Okay, he's definitely seen better days. Um, kicking action. This is always the bane of collectors, wasn't it? Because it would always just trigger on its own, kind of wear out over time. And judo chop, <laughs> karate chop. Nice. And that's it, right? No. Wrong. <laughs> Included in the lot were figures, vehicles, crap, and a terror drone. <laughs> this is kind of the last image in the listing. And that's when my jaw hit the floor, hit the basement. It's... I mean, at first blush, it looks like it's 95% complete and unbroken. I mean, a few tabs here and there. Nothing that a bit of glue and maybe some creative solutions can't fix, but the fire bat is included. AVAC. I mean, I couldn't make him out in the pictures, but he's there. And not too shabby on the condition either. All right, moment of truth though. And it seems like it has some extras. Like, look at this. This plate, I mean, they're all, they're all present. Where'd this come from? Maybe this guy was a bit of collector himself and had multiple sets that he pieced together to make this one. Um, this, oh uh, yeah, unbroken. That's awesome. The seat peg is broken, but that's another glue job. No problema. This is an extra because the rest are present. As I say, moment of truth time. Let's find out. <laughs> Incorrect, Stephen. Let's see if it's this one. I'm sure there's a way of telling Terradrome users. You will know. Uh, let's find out how many pizza slices we've got. Through the sky comes the fearful cry. Oh, guys, can you tell I'm just a little bit excited? <laughs> and what is also exciting about a pterodrome is there are lots of little nooks, little places where, once again, the treasure hunter in me can go looking for small bits and pieces. It needs one hell of a soapy bath. I look forward to doing that next. I won't subject you to it, but... Basically, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, that is the haul of the year. Possibly of the last five years. This sort of thing is the kind of stuff I live for as a collector. It's just... Uh, it's It makes me a child again, to be honest. Um, yeah, no. I kind of was in a bit of a collecting slump, and then this happened. And... Man, oh man. Like I said before, it's Christmas morning again. <laughs> Time to put the kibosh on the video. Hey, Kim. She's just put down Elliot while I've been playing. And um, get to cleaning. Hey, should we get a soapy tub together, baby, and uh, give these guys a solid dunk? No. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>